ultimate goal here is to bring lots of food in for the food bank because they are most deserving because they serve our families and your families and all of Genesee County and beyond. So that's a good cause and we don't mind helping and having a great time with them. So 5 o'clock this morning, or Friday morning the 20th between 5 and 7, why don't you pop on into Channel 12 and maybe you'll see a few minutes of us acting crazy. I might even get on the screen. Miss Sanders, you going to be on the screen too? At five, I'm, I'm sure I will. Okay. <laughs> let's hope so. Well, let's uh, let's move along. We have one more thing I want you to pen in on your calendar, and that's Thursday, March 15th, Career Night, International Academy of Flint. Thursday, March 15th, Career Night, International Academy of Flint. Well, we're changing the times a little bit that we reported last uh, week, but we're going to adjust them a little bit, and I won't give you those times yet. But get the date down. Get the date down, and please join us in the evening. We'll have a great time. We'll have over 40 professionals there um, to share with uh, our kids and kids from all other schools that wish to come, all other schools that wish to come, uh, share with them uh, some of the things that they do in their career, hoping that our young people and others will maybe be get a clue as to how to focus in on some career objectives that they'd like to have. Well, seated at our table right now is a gorgeous mom. And Thank she's you. actually among her talents, uh, and we'll talk about her modeling career. So we're so proud of you for that. I've seen you on TV several times, and you can mention that when your time comes, you can tell us who you've uh, uh, done ads for. I think okay. that's great. Uh, but m really, more importantly to us at the school is, of course, her capacity as a mom. And she's got three great kids that have been with us, I think, uh, certainly a number of years. And, and we'll have her talk about that. And I'm talking about none other, the one the only <laughs> Gracia Johnson. How you doing, Mumsy? I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired. I understand. I'm doing okay. Okay. Uh, why don't you, in fact, I'm not sure how long have your children been at our school? Since kindergarten. And they're now in uh, first, first, third, third, and fourth. Fourth, I yeah. think. Yeah, okay. I see them almost every day. And they usually hug me, and I appreciate that. Okay. They're so We're sweet friendly. of them to do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Mom, if you've been there since kindergarten, they're in some grade three and four. That's three or four years. We must be doing okay. Otherwise, you're a strong enough lady. Yes. You'd move them. I know you I, are. I would move so it in a heartbeat. Talk to that effect a little bit, please. I like the school because I like the teachers. Now they communicate with me, let me know if my kids are on track or off track. And I like to be notified when there's a mm -hmm. problem at all, whether I'm at work or whatever. They're free to call me. Mm -hmm. and, and they do that, and I love that. I mm -hmm. want to make sure I talk to my kids to get them back on track if they're mm -hmm. offbeat a little bit. But they like the teachers, and mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's a good spot. I like okay, it. that's great. Um, young folks, why don't you give me a quick... I'm, I'm not even going to mention your name. I want you guys to give your name and maybe who your teacher is, maybe your favorite subjects, and uh, how well you're doing, and maybe somebody would like to talk about Eaton and the lunch program, if you like it. Why don't you chat about that for a little bit? Who's going to be first? They're pointing over here. <laughs> okay, hit it, girl! My name is Alexi. I am in fourth grade in Mr. Chisholm's class. Okay. My favorite subject is English. Wow, good. Okay. And, and uh, are you going to be doing a science project? Is that for fourth grade this year? Yes. Okay, well, have you got it picked out yet? Yeah, yes. You want to share what it might be? Yes. Mm. How many books can you read in a day? Wow. Uh, how, wow. How is that a science project? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe you're going to oh, you put a graph on it, maybe, and stuff mm, like that. Yes. Okay. We'll talk about that. And your hair is very pretty today. Thank you. Well, is somebody in your house did that for you? My mom. Is it this lady right here? Is that yes. right? Because she gave me a card the other day, too, you <laughs> sneaky little rascal, that gets into your hair That's braiding right. occupation also. Mm. So tell us a little mm. bit about that oh in a moment. God. But uh, tell it now. Introduce yourself, please. My name's Ashanti, and I'm in third grade. You can use this and one, baby. You can okay. use this one, huh? Yeah. My name's Ashanti, and I'm in third grade, and I like Spanish. Okay. Art. Your teacher is? Mr. Buford. Really? On the top floor. Okay. Mr. Buford's new to our school this year. Mm -hmm. And things are okay in that room, huh? And Spanish. Who's your Spanish teacher? Miss Maria. Miss Maria. Okay. All right. And, and uh, how often do you get Spanish, huh? 
I get a Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. Oh, you get two days this this. Okay, this mm -hmm. week. Okay, all right, very good. And uh, who's this guy over here on my left? Can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Adarian, and I, and I like art. And Adarian, what? My favorite subject okay. is... <laughs> your last name, last name. Johnson, oh, right? Oh, Darian Johnson. Yeah, I, did, I hope you didn't forget that. Okay. And your, your teacher is? Miss Magrano. Okay. Ooh, first grade, right? Yeah. All right. And your favorite subjects might be? Um, Jim. <laughs> I knew okay. that's going to come out somewhere. Yeah. Okay. We have the highest academic gym program in America, folks. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you like to do in gym? Play basketball. Basketball, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And, and now, listen, you told me, I think, Mom, we chatted just for a second or two before the program began. You missed honor roll by one point? Oh, bummer. Oh, Are you going to do better next term? I know you will. I, I know you will. I do. I know that. Absolutely. Now, listen, kids, it's been a long, it's, a, it's quite a ways before you grow up. But suppose I was to ask you today, what would you like to be when you become an adult as far as an occupation, a career? Try it. Go ahead. A model. Oh, gee, I wonder if there's a role model mm. there. Hmm, mommy? Yeah, maybe. And young lady? <laughs> I want to I wanna be a cashier. A cashier, okay. Much like mom, mom is, too. <laughs> okay, you're having quite an impact. Well, and what are you going to be, young, youngster? A what? Police. Policeman. Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, very good. Glad you're, th you're thinking that way. Yeah. Uh, Mom, listen, I brought up a subject about uh, braiding. Can you tell us a little bit about Put a plug in for yourself, because you always look so very nice when you come to pick the children up. Oh, and, my, and folks, uh, we're going to ask her about her modeling career, too. And I don't mean model airplanes. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself as well, please. Well, my name is Gracia Johnson, and these are my three children, and I've been braiding for a long time, probably since I was a little older than you twins there. Oh, wow. Probably I was braiding, I don't know, maybe since I was about 12, started braiding with a little Barbie doll. Okay. Convinced my mom to let me do her hair, you know, because I did the Barbie. But um, I've been braiding for a long time. I do little tiny braids, zillions, and French braids, and... Extensions and zillions and lots of things. Okay, the zillions and how uh, that's you're, these here. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, <laughs> zillions. I thought so. <laughs> could you zillionate me? I be, could be a challenge, wouldn't it? <laughs> Not really. I can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Folks, I look, I look better in zillions than I do now. I know that's for sure. Okay. Now, do you work out of home or somewhere else, honey? Where, where do you... I go to my house or theirs. Okay. <laughs> so you... And why don't you give a phone number in case somebody wants to be zillioned? Uh, if you're comfortable with that. That's right? fine. 810-394-0860. Okay. Okay, uh, now that's, uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked that, but it's out now, so um, this is a pretty good station. I don't think anyone would mis misuse right. that. Okay, very good. Okay, um, let's see now, where are we going to go next? The science project and lunch? Oh, lunch! Tell me your favorite lunches! Um, I know. Go ahead. I like the chicken. Sometimes okay. we get it on Thursday. All right, mm. and? I like the pizza. That's at what day? Friday. Friday's <laughs> Universal Pizza Day right. at International Academy of Flint. Uh, and, young man? I like the hot dogs. Hot dogs. And what do you have them with, though? Mustard and ketchup. Okay. <laughs> but usually <laughs> there's a vegetable, isn't there? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Was it macaroni or... I think it's my Okay, all right, very mm. good. Okay, and we have, of course, folks, as you might very well know, we have our own full-scale kitchen at the school. Otherwise, we couldn't do all of this. We serve about 1,150 uh, students every day, plus teachers. So we're, you know, feeding about 1,200 people every single day. So you have to have a massive operation to do that. And, and I, th I think we have a, a pretty good operating kitchen. Great leadership there as well as uh, friendly staff, and they love kids. And when they go through the line, we're smiling. We're not throwing food on their plate and saying, move along. So I, th I think you'd just appreciate the way uh, the way we operate. Okay. Well, Mom, um, tell us a little bit more about you. Uh, I, I run into you every now and then when I go to a certain store, and if yeah. you want to tell us about that part of your life, I'd certainly be glad to listen. Well, I work at Staples as a cashier. And well, where's that? Which one? At the Cortland Mall. Oh, okay. Is that where I go? Yes. Okay, I didn't you know that. You better go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, and I, I love the people I work with, and I've been there 
almost eight years since July. Okay. And I kind of like being up where I'm at in the front, like with the public, dealing with, the, you oh, know, everybody. There. Just, yeah. you know, I'm really good socially with people. Mm -hmm. So I don't really like being on the floor. I have more interaction mm -hmm. with the people right there at the register. So. And I'm in line sometimes, and you don't know I'm in line. So I, I watch it. Yeah. And I'm good at you're, you're friendly <laughs> and happy, and people feel good about the way. And I think you're a great role model, literally, for these children because they see you relate to all folks uh, of all races in a wonderful way. And you're very warm and friendly, and that's such a good thing. And I know you spend time with the kids uh, with homework, don't you? Yes, we have a program. We go home, and they sit at the table and mm -hmm. do the homework while we're in the kitchen cooking. If they have questions, then they need to ask me, and I come over. But that's that's first. We so, go. So homework is before dinner, then. Definitely. Right? So I mean, like I'm cooking dinner, and they're in the, you know, at the dining room table mm -hmm. doing homework. So that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. You sit down, and get the homework done. No, no, folks. I think that's a good point. Um, Mom has a system at home. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, we'll do it now we'll do it later right. we'll do it you know then the kids get a little mm -hmm. wacky about that you have a definite plan it's come in you know take care of yourselves right. maybe get comfortable and then we'll hit homework now right now right. and i think that that system that schedule that reliance upon organization i think that might help uh, in some other homes if there were the opportunity to do that and again homework's a very much a, a big part of our school how often do you do that dear i do it all the time and i have two well probably one alexi mm -hmm. who mentions to me that the homework might be done which is great mm -hmm. i like that but just because you have it done and you know mm -hmm. i want to see it so go get okay. it so i can make sure it's neat and that's okay. right so some people try to be a little sneaky but mm -hmm. you know i want to see it that mm -hmm. it's done and that it's done neatly and correct so <laughs> not in your house <laughs> <laughs> yes in my house okay, okay. <laughs> And hey, how's mom? Is she doing okay? Mm, she's doing good. Okay, would you tell her hi? I Is, will. Might she be listening? She might be. Yo, mom, how you doing? Glad, <laughs> hope you're doing okay. It's, it's such a pleasure to have your your uh, uh, daughter and your grandchildren with us this morning, but even more importantly this morning, every day uh, in our school. So thank you all for uh, just a, a great family helping us out. Um, Mary Sanders, would you want to pop in here, or do you want to talk right where you're at, and then we could swing the camera if that's okay. And, of course, the Herrings are with us. Paul Jr. is with us today. He's a senior at our school, and he's got the world's tallest haircut. <laughs> Right now he's about seven foot three, but he's actually oh my he's actually six foot. Okay. <laughs> and Paul Jr., you're doing uh, you're out for track again this year. I saw you high stepping it down our halls the other day, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in some real meets this year. Okay, you're gonna cut your hair before the meets. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I have to be much more wind resistance that way, partner. <laughs> Sister Carol, have you ever seen is That's about as tall as I've seen him, I'm telling you. Uh, we kid Paul. He's a great kid. Paul represents this school of ours expertly, and we don't mind having fun with him because he knows um, what we think about him as a, as a young man. Yeah. Mary Sanders, how you doing today, buddy? Breakfast lady? I'm okay. Uh, what should we talk about today? How about, uh, let's talk about, well, we talked about homework here with this family. Do you have a method and a means at your, at your home? No, our schedules are really um, difficult, and we're trying to get on a regular schedule. I'm looking for employment, so that's almost 10 hours a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just by internet searching, but... Um, we're, we're trying to get something down packed that's going to work for both of us. Both of the kids are doing really well, um, mm -hmm. it, along with the schedules being thrown off. But um, we're going we're gonna to need to get a better schedule. We, mm -hmm. we have definitely enough family time. But as far as learning time, um, I would like to incorporate that more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I'm going to put one of your youngsters on the spot here. Oh. I think we, uh, one of our teachers called you when I was standing with her, and mm -hmm. I, we dialed your phone right there. And uh, what was all that about? Well, that was my youngest. She told me that he does very well in his exams, but he is lacking on his homework, which that's a part of uh, passing. And we definitely nipped it in the bud and got him back on the ball. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was excited to hear that he's doing well, but I was also sad that uh he didn't mm -hmm. think that he needed to do his homework mm -hmm. like the work is getting a little bit too easy for him so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad that he's caught on and, and ahead now because he's in uh, tutoring mm -hmm. probably three times a week okay so the tutoring is definitely working and now we just have to make him 
work hard to mm-hmm. to get where he needs to be. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You know, he has ability, and I, I, I will share this openly. The teachers indicate that he has excellent ability, but again, a little lax in, in getting things done. And that's, um, you know, we just want to keep pushing kids to make sure they do our best. Just because the grades are good, we're not going to let up on, on this young man. Uh, the teachers want to push him to, to his, do his very very best not just good very best and i think all of our staff are pretty um pretty consistent and pretty set on that so uh, you just work with us and i'm sure as as you're doing now so i think that'll uh, end up uh, as a good thing and how about that other guy that, that's uh, standing there behind you is he going to get on the microphone at all do we know well that other guy is a seventh grader and he's also been a part of the tutoring um yeah talk about that for a couple of years now and He's also in after-school tutoring twice a week to okay. uh, help out with the math that me and him both are having a hard time at. Okay. Marquise, it's, it's definitely changed. Ms. Sanders, thank you for bringing that tutoring up. I appreciate that. It was very insightful. Marquise, you're in after-school tutoring. I know because I see you there you know, a couple times a week. Why don't you touch on who your tutor is and uh, how that's coming and what it's like so folks know. Well... I can't really pronounce her name, but she's Vietnamese. Okay. And and she's she's from from, you, thank you. That's what I wanted you to say. Yeah. And she helped us with our homework. We have schedules, so I'll go to computers, then I'll come back, do my homework, and then we'll talk about the mm-hmm. stuff that I have problems in. Then you go to what time of the evening? Four to six. Yeah, right. Because our after-school program, folks, run until 6. And we do have a partnership with the University of Michigan, Flint, the young lady that you're talking about. I met her one time, and nor can I recall her name. But she's an excellent young lady and uh, helps us in math. And we have tutors in other areas as well. So when the school day's over, we're not over. We keep hammering away. In fact, uh, Ms. Johnson, are any of yours? yours no, you come at 3.30 because I see you every mm-hmm. day out there. Yeah, yeah okay. last right. year they were in after-school I, th- I thought they were because I oh, remember they you Oh, they love that. We'll yeah. probably do that okay. again this coming here. That'd be good. Yeah, That'd be good they if, loved if they it. could. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, Marquise, now what's most important, not that we have a program, but are you getting stuff? Are you learning stuff uh, at, at 3.30? Yeah. Can you explain a little bit of how she works with you and how many are in the, cl- in the tutoring class? Talk just a little bit more about well, that. Well, we have about, we have people from different grades. Okay. And we have three tutors in there. Okay. So we all split up and then go to different uh, stuff. And I'm on level I. Okay. So it's kind of hard and easy at the same time. Yeah. Now, in seventh grade, you're of course, you're in algebra already. Talk a little bit about some of the things you're doing. Um, the distributive property and uh, commutative properties and stuff with the... Um, Greater than or less than sign? Okay, let's move on then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, did you get like, some yeah. of that, buddy? You know what he's talking about. Huh? Okay. These terms have changed since I was doing math on the cave wall. So uh, the things have changed a little bit. But that's great. And I'm glad you're liking it, of course. I hope yeah. you are, at least. Okay, because you, you never come down early. You're always coming down right a little past six, which means you're, you know, you're, it's a full class. Okay, very good. Is Marzell going to say anything, Mom? Would he like to maybe... Marcel, take your coat off so folks can see you. And I have no idea what you're going to talk about, but the microphone is yours, either one of them. And to tell us what uh, your name and, and your teacher, let, let's give them a plug. Go ahead, Marcel. My name is Marcel Richmond. And I'm in fourth grade, Miss Cox class. I like art class, but I have to go to RTI. What's that mean? Do you know? Okay, the technical term for our school is RTI, response to intervention, because we know from our testing program, which we do weekly, some kids fall a little bit behind in certain subjects, and if they do, bango, we want to catch them right now, because if you let a problem delay and delay and just let it ride along, it's more difficult to change the, you know, change what has to be changed. So we hook them in right away, and RTI is our response to intervention. It's a staff strictly works in tutoring, and and there's about uh, five of those teachers that do specifically that. Sorry to interrupt you, Marcel, but the audience don't know what RTI means. See, go ahead. And your favorite subject must be? Mm, English. Really? Okay. 
because I know you're doing pretty good in math. Uh, I, I was getting your scores the other day, and they were pretty good. In fact, you got 100 on a couple tests, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, very good. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, are you part of the science project? Yeah. What, what, did you go to pick up some equipment from our school the other day? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Can you say more than yeah? <laughs> well, do you know what your project's going to be? No, we we have not decided. That's probably me that's making the decision, but oh. um, <coughs> we have not. <coughs> my voice is going. Mm -hmm. We have not decided on what the project's going to be, but I definitely appreciate International stepping in and make sure, making sure that there's no barriers, like they gave us the board and pretty much everything that we need except for, you know, what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. that's, that's gonna be our decision. But I have two projects that we're gonna be doing and we have not decided yet. Mm -hmm. One of them wouldn't be cooking greens, would it? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Probably not. I think that's an excellent science project, but I think if you do do that, you I think somebody to needs to test them first. And I certainly would. <laughs> Johnson, <laughs> I certainly would be glad to do that. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. No, folks, we must have had, oh, 100 parents or, or kids or such at our meeting last, uh, I think it was Tuesday evening around 6 o'clock. We invited everybody back, and uh, they came back, and we supplied them with the necessary things they need to do, a little display board and, and some markers and things so they could begin to begin their, their project, whatever those will be. We'll have a big event. We'll probably have some of our winners in later in the year as soon as those projects are determined to, again, give those kids some plaudits for the good things they're doing. Okay, Marzell, anything else you want to chat about? You were at breakfast this morning. Did you get enough to eat? Yeah, I think 35 pieces of French toast is enough. I really do think so. <laughs> okay. And I got a mini Holy Bible. Oh, how'd that happen? Uh, a, a preacher came to our school and drank coffee. And then he just passed out some Bibles to everybody. Yeah, that did happen this morning, didn't it? fact that uh, they really weren't preachers uh, technically they, they said a few things of course but they're they're with the Gideon organization and they asked if they could come by this morning to our breakfast and as you know the Gideons uh, for years and years and years have placed Bibles uh, with in hotels I don't know if that still goes on or not but uh, it's a wonderful organization that tries to promote the word of the Lord so uh, they asked if they could come by and we certainly agreed to let them do so and for those children and adults that wanted uh, to pick up a, a, a little of Psalms, a New Testament handout from the wonderful Gideons, they were able to receive it. They didn't have to take it. It was strictly optional. But that was a very nice gesture uh, on that part. Okay, Sister Carolyn, we haven't had very many words today. We got right into the program here. Um, have you got anything to talk about today or support or whatever your thoughts yes, might what be? what outside activities do your family that's sitting at the table, what outside activities mm -hmm. do they congregate with IAL? Hmm. Outside of the school, what other things do we do with the school? What, do like, you, what church do you belong to? What are the activities you have that enhances your learning experience at International Academy of Flint? Well, every week we go to the library and we get books and oh, different wow. movies yeah. and... You know, we had to sit at home and read our books, and that night we make sure we read, too. I wasn't on it as much last year, but I decided it was a good thing. I can't express the meaning, um, the importance of reading if we don't actually do it. So we make it a, a point to make sure we get libraries, um, movies, books and movies every week, and we read every night mm -hmm. and every day. Yeah, that's right. You guys are know about AR, don't you? Mm -hmm. do you? Do you have, have you won any AR Assembly Awards? Do you know? Now, AR, folks, refers to uh, Accelerated Reader. It's a special program. Some schools have it, some may elect not to have it. We sure do, because it accelerates the reading capabilities of children. We love, and Ms. Johnson just indicated, she, she you know, she's a guru of reading here. She just hounds those kids to make sure they go. A weekly trip to the library is outstanding, by the way. And uh, I'm sure they will just, they already have a, a thirst for knowledge. You can tell that. But uh, I think what you do at home supports what we do at school. And when you have that kind of a union between a student, parent, and school, mm -hmm. those kids are going to succeed. I mean, yeah. they just really, really are. Thank you. Um, you know, I forgot to mention one more thing. Um, 
your ads, your TV ads. I, I, I asked you that, and I don't know if you covered that. I didn't hear if you did. No. Please tell us. Um, yeah. I've on a few commercials. I'm not sure if they still run the Dort Federal one, but I it was the first there, one that, that I'd one. done. Right. Then after that, I did a small thing for um, Scott Smith. He was running for mayor at one point. I remember. Yeah, so that was a real him. quick one. Yeah. Then I done the Genesee Valley Gold and Silver commercial. Oh, I think that one is okay. still airing. All right. And I recently done one for uh, three attorneys that are work out of Grand Blank, mm -hmm. and their names are a little complicated, but I think okay. that's airing now, so okay. can't remember it. Well, one is Edgar and Wagner and something else. So. Wow, I'm, so set, I'm sitting next yes. to a star here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's great. Maybe our school would hire you to do a little something, something. Wouldn't That'd be that be awesome. neat? Okay, all right. Well, Miss Sanders, we're kind of rounding out the program here. Would you like to have any closing remarks? And then we'll ask the little guys here as well if they'd like to say something in, in a moment. So, Miss Sanders, are there any closing remarks you'd like to have, dear? Well, there's always great breakfast on Saturday morning, like I said, at 930. And we'd just like to encourage everyone to take advantage of this free breakfast. Okay, thank you. Now, little folks, um, are you do anything you'd like to say? Did you maybe grandparents are listening? You want to holler out to them at all and say hi or anything you'd like to say? Anything you'd like to say to anybody? Bye. Okay, right, I love right. you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All Thanks right, everybody, it. wherever you are today, if you're walking your dog, if you're on the planet Mars, wherever you are at our breakfast program, look at somebody and say. Woo! That is some kind of school. Bye, everybody.